Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing video, I'm Aditya. In this video, we will do a very basic performance test benchmark for NUX3 versus NUX13. So without any further ado, let's begin. To begin with, I got a basic website with NUX3 installation. On the other side, I got the basic website, website with NUX13 app router installation. I didn't add any of the external libraries, whatever they come up with. I have just put those. Now in Next13, you have an option to create it with Tailwind CSS. So I haven't included Tailwind CSS as well. Whatever they are, however they are, just as it is. Now, again, these two frameworks are super fantastic. And the test I'm gonna do is just load testing. Now there could be other metrics, and actually there are other metrics, and it's very difficult to do all of them in this video. But Suffice to say, when it comes to load test, it will tell you at a high level how strong the web server is or how strong the framework is handling that web requests. So it's going to be requ request and response. So is it able to manage the concurrent requests? Is it able to manage the uh, like how many requests concurrently and all those things? So for that, I'm going to use AB test. So here I've already installed AB testing, AB testing tool. It's just the Apache HTTPD tool. Uh, you can also use other tools that's not a problem both websites are running on a port number so one is running on 3000 the other one is running on 3001 so next is 3001 nux3 is 3000 so let's start with nux so here i'm going to say a b then how many number of requests let's start with 100 requests let's start with 1000 actually concurrent requests 10 total 1000 requests concurrently 10 cent at root local host colon 3000 and I'm going to copy this because I just need to change the port number here for next and I'm going to make this for 3001 so let's do this one first great so we got here time taken for test 2.235 seconds that's fine but here we got some data transfers which is okay and here you will see we got around 447 requests Per second on an average and if we see time taken for each request is 22 millisecond over here now let's see how does next performs so let's go over here hit enter right so here it took seven seconds compared to what it took here two seconds okay then we got in next chess more data transferred around 10.7 MB while here it's around 10.2 MB that's fine sorry it's 102 MB compared to 107 MB not 10 12 sorry it's 107 102 MB so more data transfer in next year's site then we got request like time sec taken for per request is 74 millisecond and requests per second is 134 so way less than next let's do this again just to double test because that's way too less but let's just do it again for next let's do this again as well so test round two for same thing now i'm doing this simultaneously shouldn't be any shouldn't be a problem now here you'll see 79 requests per second oh it went more down then we got time per request is like 126 millisecond on the other hand Nuxt did 209 requests per second. Time per, uh, time per request is around 47 millisecond. Yeah, that's true. So for one request, it took 47 millisecond, while here it took on an average 126 millisecond. Okay. Now let's try to increase more load on it. So what I'm going to do is instead of sending 1000 requests, I'm going to send 10,000 requests and 100 concurrent requests. Same thing over here. 1000 requests with 100 concurrent requests. Sorry, 10,000 requests with 100 concurrent requests. Okay, this is interesting. Here, next JS took around 41 seconds for the test, completed 241 requests per second. Time per request is 414 millisecond. While on the other side, next, didn't even finish the test okay let's try again to see if it's the same thing let's do the same thing from here 
round two for 10,000 requests with 100 con con request. All right, the results are here. So for the next chess website, 10,000 requests, 100 concurrent. We got time per request, 534 millisecond. And it was able to do around 186 requests per second and time per request across all of the concurrent requests was 5.35 seconds, sorry, milliseconds. Now, this again completed the test. Let's see, Nuxt. Here we have it with Nuxt. We got 216 requests per second compared to 186. Then we got 462 requests, sorry, 40, 462 milliseconds per request while here we have 534 millisecond and on top of that we got 4 millisecond for one request across all the concurrent requests compared to 5.35 now when it comes to this level of difference it's not huge like it's not like one is taking 4 and the other need taking let's say 40 but it's around one millisecond but when it comes to requests per second the number is quite like there is a difference so here you got around almost 30 requests more handled by nuxt while here you got 30 requests ne less so again this is just a load test when you have different libraries different things installed this might differ but at the base level this is what we got so that's all in this video Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section what would you have done differently and what are what is your take on this. Again, this is not to incite any debate between Nuxt or Next. They both are powerful frameworks. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you feel this video is worth sharing with your network, please do share with your network. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Till the next time. Goodbye.